Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. This is yet another video on uh, year end review from PIB, which is important from prelims 2020 perspective. This is with respect to the Ministry of Agriculture, Cooperation and Farmers Welfare and the initiatives under the ministry. The first highlight mentioned in the report is about Pradhan Mantri Kisan Mandan Yojana. So let us use this opportunity to, to look at this old age pension scheme which is applicable to all land holding small and marginal farmers in the country. So it is a voluntary and contributory pension scheme. Also take a look at the entry and exit age. It cannot be beyond 40 years because if you want pension, you need to pay at least for 20 years or at least 10 years in various other cases depending on the income. So in preliminary exam, if there is any option with respect to social security schemes that is near the retirement age, please look at it with caution. So you need at least a payment of 10 years or 5 years minimum to have pension schemes. So if it is given 18 to 60 years, the information is false. So there is another possibility here that uh, the option might say that central and state government will share the amount in the pension scheme equally. No, it is only the central government that will contribute the amount in the pension scheme. So the monthly contributions will fall due on the same day every month as the enrollment date. So the beneficiaries may also choose an option to pay their contributions either quarterly, four monthly or even half yearly also. So such contributions will fall due on the same day of such period as the date of allotment. That is also one important point. So the spouse is also eligible to get a separate pension of 3000 rupees. And upon making separate contributions to the fund, only then the spouse is eligible to get a separate pension of 3000 rupees. So this scheme is uh, handled by Life Insurance Corporation of India. And it will be the pension fund manager and will be responsible for pension payout. So let us imagine in the case of death, in the case of death of the farmer before retirement date, the spouse may continue in the scheme by paying the remaining contributions till the remaining age of the deceased farmer. If the spouse does not wish to continue, the total contribution made by the farmer along with the interest will be paid. So that is one important case also for preliminary exam. So if the farmer dies after the retirement date, the spouse will get only 50% of the pension as family pension. After the death of both the farmer and the spouse, the accumulated corpus shall be credited back to the pension fund. So it will not be going to their kids. It will be going back to pension fund. That is one important note that you have to make for prelims exam also. Also, there was a constitution of high powered committee of chief ministers for transformation of agriculture. So, Niti Aayog has come up with an agenda of cooperative federalism and we have had a successful model in the form of GST council when dealing with issues that are of common concern for both center and states. So, in this context, uh, there is a high powered committee of chief ministers which has been trying to come on a common platform to achieve what GST council achieved for indirect taxes. So the report is yet to be out and we have to look at what this report will be. The next one is the increase in the minimum support prices for Karif crops and Rabi crops. So you know that the government has uh, expressed its intention to double farmers income by 2022. So in this context, government announces MSP for as much as 25 crops and there is a common uh, perception that MSP procurement is only done for rice and wheat. However, even though it is true, government does ensure that minimum support prices are declared from time to time for both Karif and Rabi crops. The next highlight is about the e-National Agricultural Market. So National Agricultural Market or ENAM is an online trading platform for agricultural commodities. So the market will facilitate farmers, traders and buyers with online trading. That is the unique feature of this. So this is more like Amazon for farmers and traders. 
so the market is helping in better price discovery and it will provide facilities for smooth marketing of their produce so this will bypass the local apmcs or the agricultural mandis where third party dealers will have a monopoly and they will ensure that uh, the farmers will not get high prices despite having a bumper harvest so how was the idea fairing the market transaction stood at 36.2 thousand crores in january 2018 and most of this is intra market so over 90 commodities including staple grains like food grains vegetables and fruits are currently listed in this uh, list of commodities available for trade the interesting fact is the enam market is proving popular as the crops are weighed immediately and the stock is lifted on the same day the payments are cleared online on the same day also in february 2018 some other uh, interesting features like mis dashboard and uh, b map and other mobile payments were included into enam market so these enhanced features on the mobile app such as gate entry and payment through mobile phones and farmers database has helped adoption even more so the present trading is done mostly for intra market but it is being done in phases it is being rolled out to trade in inter market and interstate which will eventually aim at creating unified national market for agricultural commodities so in this year 421 new mandis have been opened or they have been approved and integration under the enam market is along way so along with this farmer produce organizations they are small corporate like bodies set up under a group of uh, farmers who come together and ensure that they onboard themselves onto the enam portal for better price discovery and they've state started uploading their produce for trading and this uh, commodity trading should become a norm for uh, making agriculture a profitable venture in the future also so further 23 warehouses of the central warehousing corporation located in different districts of andhra pradesh have been declared as markets under the aplm act so even this will facilitate trading in the future and warehouses will form an integral part of uh, food processing industry in the supply chain and india is aiming to become one of the most important uh, center and hub for food processing industries and it aims to become the food processing hub of the world somewhere in the future so enam is an essential step to ensure that we garner enough resources from agricultural sector to eventually move towards food processing industries so this is the gist of uh, the year end review of agricultural ministry Stay tuned for more updates on Prelims 2020 series.